this. This is loud. Hey guys, welcome back to Tang Garage. My name is Frank and I'll be the man behind the camera. In today's video, we're hopefully, <laughs> Hopefully is the word that I'm going to be using today, installing a new Remus exhaust on my BMW E36. Before the video starts, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any uploads from Tank Garage. Alrighty guys, I've used the word hopefully because this is an old car. This is a 24 year old BMW, 1998 is the year, manual 5 speed 328i E36. So. We have the absolutely gorgeous Remist exhaust. This is an axle back exhaust. So like you guys see, we're not going all the way to the end, which will replace the factory muffler section and pretty much everything else um, after the axle. So like you guys can see, the exhaust is in fabulous condition. Not a single speck of rust. The tips are still absolutely gorgeous. And yes, guys, this is made by Remis. Remis, if you guys don't know, make parts for a lot of manufacturers and they make performance parts. So this is, I believe, it's a resonated muffler, which would mean that it amplifies the sound versus a non-resonated muffler, which catches the sound. If I'm wrong, please correct me down in the comments, guys. I'm not too used to these muffler terms. So why I'm using the word probably and hopefully, guys, is because I don't really know what the bolts look like underneath the E36. So the bolts that are holding on the muffler part, and then there's also these flanges right here, which you guys can see bolt directly to the other side of the exhaust. These are rusted out, but they're not that rusted out. I just wonder what the ones on the other side look like. So let's put you guys on the tripod. I'll put the E36 onto the little ramps over here and uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens in today's video. Hopefully we have a new muffler installed. <laughs> All right guys, so the car is on to the ramps. Sorry if the footage is not too straight, guys. Um, I am, okay. So, I am still with the tripod on there. Let's try to put the luminosity up. So like you guys can see, these are the flanges that we need to remove. So there's two of them, and I'm hoping them not to be too rusted. So let's see how it goes. And then you have the muffler hangers over here, which look pretty rusted, if you're asking me. Huh, I'll have to find a way to remove those. Those look really rusted. All right, let's get going, guys. BMW things? Alrighty, guys, so... Yeah, we're one week later. I'll uh, throw on screen what actually happened. So to start the story, um, I undid all the flanges and all the bolts and there was one bolt that was actually seized and that wouldn't come out any further than about an inch. So I called one of my friends that has a uh, die grinder and uh, asked them, a die grinder, a sawzall or whatever, the, a cutting tool, and asked them if I could just pop up to his house and just use it for 30 seconds and come back. And this happened. Yeah, the muffler decided to dissociate from the body of the car. So what happened actually was one of the muffler hangers um, kind of ripped off and on the other side there wasn't a muffler hanger so it was kind of some trouble. So now we're pretty much running the E36 straight pipe. Uh, I finally was able to go to BMW and get the actual bolts that went there and that just made me think I'm gonna run back inside and get the exhaust hanger because I will need that to do the install. Uh, but other than that, I guess we'll see each other on the POV. Sorry, you guys can't see nothing now. Uh, but we'll see each other on the POV of a really, really loud E36. Enjoy. Alrighty guys, so here is the E36. I don't know if you guys can hear me better than the last POV with it. Uh, I'm actually trying to figure out a better positioning for the camera, so I don't know if you guys can pretty much see how it's on my head. It's pretty messed up the way it's made. So, um, like you guys can see, there's uh, absolutely no exhaust tip. There's nothing down there, and uh, yeah, that's because there's literally no exhaust. 
We'll let the uh, loud scooter pass by. There we go. Now we could hear each other probably. So like you guys could see, the culprit. So the muffler actually did scrape pretty bad on the side of the road. Uh, like you guys saw in that clip, the whole section of the muffler is here. And the Remus exhaust is where we actually work on cars. So uh, what we'll do, guys, is we'll just get, get going. We'll get into the E36, give you guys a cold start on pretty much what is the straightest of straight pipes on a 1998 M52 engine 328 BMW. Let's let it prime for a couple seconds. I don't know if the, if the microphone can capture how loud this is. I hope it can. The idle is not really straight, but I don't know if you guys can hear this, but that, that, that is loud. That is really loud. It's not as loud as the V8 on the cold start, but it is definitely louder when we do get driving. Let me just make sure that you guys can see properly. When I'm looking forward like that, that looks about right. We'll let the idle drop, guys, and uh, we'll get going. <laughs> oh, God, this is so loud. You guys are not ready. We'll let it warm up just a tiny bit, and we'll do a little pull getting onto the highway. I got a bunch of uh, filming gear with me, so got the good old um, camera. So this is the setup that I film on. I think this is the actual first time that you guys see my setup for the camera, so... Yeah, if you guys want camera specs, I might do a video in the future if you guys like that type of stuff. Uh, right here we do have the exhaust hanger, like I told you guys, which we needed um, for the install because there is one that was missing. Uh, I do got ratcheting wrenches. I learned from my mistake in the past, and I also borrowed my friend's uh, E-Torx sockets. So we have all our bolts, copper bolts for the exhaust, and then our regular stud, which is actually longer than what it should be, but... We'll see. We'll give it a couple seconds to the E36, and uh, e-brake is uh, kind of dead. So yeah, like you guys can tell, it is a uh, it is a loud boy, and that was about what 1500 RPM. So. It does sound pretty good though, but it is really loud. And there is a little bit of crackles and pops in the exhaust. So, yeah. So I actually do have a proper mic setup this time. I don't know if you guys could see it inside of the, uh, I do have a uh, microphone with a dead cat bolted to the side of my head. It is very loud. I do get a lot of looks even though I try to be as nice of a driver as possible with this and not really bother the people of the city. Uh, this The cops will not like this, but listen, I have everything with me and I have the proof that, oh, I'll let this guy go. Proper BMW driver, guys, I'm using blinkers. Well, actually not that proper BMW driver, but whatever. We'll do a couple of uh, pulls on the road later when uh, it is a little bit more warm so you guys can hear that inline six 2.8 liter it sounds really good guys but the police will not like me like that if I run this setup continuously uh, this is just for the time that I was waiting for the bolts because well don't forget guys this is a 24 year old BMW, so. It did take some time for the bolt to get to destination, which was the BMW dealership. That was the closest to me. Uh, I try to search everywhere online for bolts like these and it is, it is not easy to find. And, I did fine, but the price was ridiculous. They were asking like something like $10 a bolt, which does not make sense for a non-OEM replacement. So I just said, that, that, was it me or that Civic had no hood? That, that Civic was driving without a hood, guys. Am I, am I crazy? Guys, let me know in the comments if I'm crazy, but that Civic had no hood on. That was, that was one special, okay, I'll have time to go right here. 
get a mini pull here, guys. I'm not gonna go too hard because the car's still cold. So, uh, yeah, sounds absolutely fantastic as my headliner is sagging onto my head. Are we hot yet? No, we're not even halfway to the spot. We'll give it a, just a little beans, half throttle here. I'm not gonna lie guys, on the highway this is not pleasant to drive like this. It sounds amazing. <laughs> Did you guys see the face on that lady? <laughs> oh, I, lo I love the looks people give. It, it just like, it's a stock BMW that just sounds like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe this. It is immensely loud guys. Like it is ear destroyingly loud. I just hope I'm not going to have any encounter with uh, some nice police officers on the way there, which would not be too nice. I'm just going to lower the heat here because I am dying. It is not very hot outside, but inside of a car with uh, the heat on, it's definitely, definitely hot. So what we'll do, guys, is we'll actually, um, we'll just do a little mini ride. Well, actually, I shouldn't because the exhaust is going to be hot. So here's what we'll do. We'll just, we'll get out here and we'll, uh, let's get some downshifts. I'm sorry guys, I missed the tunnel. I missed the tunnel guys, that's my bad. And it is it is kind of warm now, according to the gauge. So we'll do a, a, a to the speed limit pull here. What's nice about the E36 is that it's not that powerful. It, it has some kick, but it's nothing that's gonna, you know what I mean? So what we're doing is we're actually going uh, to do a pull to the speed limit here. So we're not gonna break any law. I am very pro respecting the laws as you guys know. So yeah, I mean it drives fine, it's just ultra loud and with the POV setup on my head guys it is it is very 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 annoying. I'm gonna have to get a cap or some different type of setup, alright. I hope you guys are ready for this. This is loud. All right, speed limit is attained, and we will not go any faster. I mean, the E36 is not that slow, guys. I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. It, it's not slow. It's definitely not fast, but it's definitely not slow. Like, I mean, I had some fun in a private uh, area with a uh, Civic Si. I believe it was an eighth gen or ninth gen. Uh, I believe it was like, what the? Oh, I think that was my dad, actually. Nice. Well, I'm going to have to figure a way out to do this myself, guys. <laughs> so I had nobody that was able to come and help me, but uh, I think I'll, I'll just get a jack and jack up the muffler. Always to the speed limit, guys. Never pass the speed limit. It is a cold day, so the exhaust should cool down fast. Uh, it is very, very cold outside. The sun makes it hotter than what it is, but... Just to be respectful while we pass next to people. When there's bikers and things like that, I'm not the type of guy to just ear destroy people, so... We'll be nice, as we saw that was... What is this guy doing? Okay. Just pull a Yui instead of... Okay. I'm going to put my blinker here. Why, why is it such a meme about Audi drivers not using their blinkers? This gentleman has a stop sign as well.
I'll, I'll get a rev for you guys. I'll, I'll try to find an area where uh, it's not that crowded. You guys can hear those pops and, well, they're pretty much crackles more than pops. I'll try to do some for you right here. It sounds nice. It sounds half decent. Sounds pretty good. I mean, just really annoying to drive because this is a daily, guys. Don't forget, this is not one of the... are coming right here. This is a golf course, so I'm not trying to make enemies here in the area. Right, let's do a mini pull here, guys. do not want to have people hate me in this area. That's definitely not my goal. This is a uh, nice and peaceful area until Tank Garage comes and ruins it. place of working on the BMW. Hopefully we'll get everything back on there. It is a little annoying to back up with the BMW guys because I cannot crank all the way or else I will get some rubbing with the style 68 wheels. Only going backwards though which is kind of weird. I'll try to center it here as much as I can. Let's see. We should be good. Yeah, looks good in the back. Let's shut her off and uh, just make sure that it's all good here to put onto the ramps. Actually, this is a really bad spot. I think I'm going to move it more towards here because there's little divots here. And if I put it right here, I'll have actually space to. Well, the issue is there's a bump here. I think I'll pretty much have to put it right here and back it up onto the ramps right about here. Because if you guys can see here, there are little divots. But if I back it up more towards here, I think I'll be good. Yeah, here is going to be the perfect place. So uh, I should pause the recording, guys, and uh, we'll see each other in a couple of seconds once everything is paused onto the actual camera. All right, guys, so here I am. Uh, all I have to do left is to put the E36 onto the ramps. I have all of my bolts, all the necessary hardware with the brand new exhaust hanger uh, to put on this. So I think I'm gonna start with the exhaust hanger. Uh, and then from that point on, this one looks still kind of solid, I guess. There was only one available online, so I kind of don't have a choice to use it. I uh, will put the E36 onto the mini ramps that I have, which I, I need to get bigger ramps, guys. This is ridiculous. Like, I'm literally crouch walking under the car, but whatever. It's fine. I'll actually put some air inside the tires as well. It's been a while since the E36 sat. The rear tire is actually sagging a little bit. Um, so we'll go ahead and install the new exhaust hanger with the new hardware. We will take the old exhaust out of the trunk after, which I don't really mind having it in the trunk right now. Put the E36 onto the ramps and then I'll get to go and I guess should be straightforward. I hope. I really hope it's straightforward, guys, honestly. I hope it's not too complex, too complicated, because I am alone today and there's nobody to help me. So hopefully we fix this today. Alrighty, guys, update. I was able to remove the old exhaust hangers. This was a pain in the butt. These are 24 year old, most probably, as you guys can see, they are finished. Brand new one looks like this. And we'll put the new one next to the old one and you guys can see the difference. Uh, there's already one on the new muffler, so I'll go ahead and install the other one onto the other side. I just gotta figure out if I put it on the inside or the outside, depending on how it's gonna bolt up to the car, but 
I'll probably grab a measuring tape and measure what the distance in between those two are and we'll bolt everything back together. We're getting to the finish line guys. This was probably the hardest part, which was removing the old and now in with the new. Let's keep going. I'll show you guys the result hopefully today. I really hope today's the day I install this because I haven't driven the car in a week now because of how loud it is. <laughs> so we'll see you guys again very soon. All right guys, so as y'all can tell, I'm absolutely disgusting. The old muffler is completely out. I was able to remove all of the flanges, all of the stuff. The new muffler is back on, but I still do have two bolts left. So the left side hanger, I'll try to just demonstrate this for you guys. So this is how the hanger sits onto the car. Um, this little, there's a stud goes through that side, but this side the stud did not want to go through. So I just got to find a way to replace it. Uh, but I'll be able to give you guys what it sounds like. I'll place you guys right here and I'll give you guys a sound clip of what the Remus exhaust sounds like. Hopefully it sounds good. It's not that loud, which is good because this is a daily, don't forget guys. Uh, it's also not too raspy. Well, it is not fully bolted properly and I guess once I do get started to go in a drive, it'll sound a little bit better. This car does sound better under load than when it revs. Uh, so just gonna wait on my girlfriend here and uh, I'll try to figure out how to put it back together. There's only two bolts left guys. There's two bolts away from doing a pretty big install on this car considering it is 24 years old. So I'll probably see you guys onto the POV camera. My, I have a huge headache. You guys could probably tell I'm brown everywhere on my face from all the dust and the dirt and everything. So I'll see you guys very soon. Okay guys, so half, well one exhaust hanger is in and I'll probably have to rock only one exhaust hanger. The old muffler only had one and I drove it pretty hard all through summer. Yeah, literally all summer and it was fine until it, uh, the exhaust wiggled itself out. So yeah, the issue, I'll try to show you guys. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see it. It's very hard for me to film down here. Let's turn up the brightness a little bit. Okay, so this is the second exhaust hanger. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the thread on that is just inexistent. There's no thread. But if we go, sorry guys, this is gonna be a flashbang. If we go on the other side over here, let me try to find it. This side is all bolted on properly. I don't know if you guys can see that properly. Um, so yeah. Oh, zoom out. Okay, we're back. So there's one side that's bolted on properly. I'm just waiting for one of my friends to let me know if uh, he has BMWs like these. And I mean, he's gonna be the one that tells me, yeah, rock it like that or don't. Um, so the one thing that I could do is to re-thread everything. So the jack is just still holding uh, the muffler section right now. The tips look so good, guys. Just look at that. Look at those Remus tips right here. It looks so good squared off like that and hopefully I'll be fine. I guess I don't, I re I don't really have a choice because I don't have a, a threading kit with me to remake threads. So I know I'll have to remake the threads on those. How am I gonna do so? That's a very good question. Uh, there's not a lot of space to put the little kit and spin it around. Um, is the muffler going to come back out? Is Are we rocking it with only one exhaust hanger for the winter? And see, you know guys, like, like I told you, the E36 is not something that I plan on keeping for a very, very long time. This is just a daily beater type of really cool BMW, I guess. Now that that's an exhaust and 
I've almost spent as much money on mods on the car as I've paid for the car, but okay. Listen, that doesn't matter because I could take everything back out and sell it if, you know, I send a car to the scrapyard, the style 68 wheels and everything. So it doesn't really matter up to that point, but I just don't want, like the new exhaust hanger was like $30. So I don't want to ruin a new exhaust hanger, which would kind of suck. But in the meantime, I guess this is how we're going to rock it. Um, one of my tires is low, so I'll have to fill it out with air. And that's pretty much it guys. That's the final look. I'll try to show you guys. I know it's uh, pretty hard with all of the sun right now, but that's how she sits with squared exhaust tips. Uh, they will be a little crooked like that because, well, because you guys, you guys must understand that there is only one exhaust hanger out of two. So the other side is kind of sagging a little bit because nothing is holding it down, but yeah, <laughs> so that's going to be it for today's, well, no, it's not going to be it for today's video, guys. I'm sorry. We're going to go and drive it. We'll see you guys on to the POV. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying this. I know the E36 is not the favorite car on the channel and there's better cars to do than that, but this is what it is for now. I promise you guys there'll be more Volvo content very, very soon. Enjoy the driving. Guys, so the E36 is here with um, one exhaust hanger. I mean, it still holds, like you guys see. It's still holding, it's just we could see it, it's angled off to the side a little bit, and yeah. So let's go drive. It actually, I'll, I'll drop a sound clip, guys, for you right here, uh, which my girlfriend took for me. Um, it actually sounds better from the back than it sounds inside of the car, which is a good thing. A very good thing. Uh, let me just make sure that I have all my stuff before I leave. All the sockets. I have my camera. My gear. This. This all close later. All right. Let's do it. So we'll give it a bit of beans, guys. Not too much because I don't want to... I don't want to risk the exhaust falling off, which it shouldn't because like I said, I've been driving the car for a little while like that. Oh yeah. You definitely hear it more inside of the car when you're driving than when you're just revving at idle. Let's see here. I guess I'll wait till the exhaust is hot. We'll give it a little bean here. I mean, it sounds good. It sounds very, very decent. It's not super loud. Uh, it's definitely quieter than my S60R. Which is a good thing because I didn't want this is a daily right guys. I didn't want this to be like really loud so The fact that it's kind of not too loud It is louder than factory It is definitely louder than factory But not by much So I don't think I'll get in any trouble with this muffler, honestly, guys. It is it is a nice little added touch. Not too loud, but not too quiet. We'll really see once we get onto the highway. It'll pretty much be warmed up by then. We'll see what uh, what it sounds like with the windows closed. We have people wearing garbage bags. Let's see. I mean, it doesn't really. It's it's not very loud. Let's let's be honest.
I don't hear any exhaust leaks, which is a good thing. I'll just close the windows here so you guys don't get the uh, horrible wind noise, which you guys shouldn't because I have a microphone connected to the camera now, so you guys should actually hear better than what y'all were used to, so we'll see what the windows close if we can close, yeah, closed, if we can hear some uh, exhaust leak. I don't hear anything. Honestly, with the windows closed, you can barely tell. You can barely tell. This is very, it's a very well insulated muffler. So I'll definitely will not get into trouble with the police. Oh, that was my friend. With his new, uh, his LS. I didn't recognize him. Let's see. I don't really hear the burbles. The guy told me, the guy that sold me this exhaust said that between two to three K there is some burbles, but I don't hear those. Doesn't really matter. I'm happy. It's not very loud, honestly, guys, but like, let's not forget there's still the cats and the resonators and all of that stuff. So resonator doesn't do much, but still does a little bit. All right, we'll get a little uh, beans pull right here going onto the highway. Let's see right here. Second you pull. Ooh, please don't fall off. It's going to be a good test. I'm completely blind right now with the sun. This will be a good test of uh, will it hold on. I mean, it sounds really good. It sounds good. I'm not gonna lie, it sounds good. Try to catch up to that Subaru down there. got some kind of exhaust on there. Just gotta be a little, uh, a little cautious here. be a good test for the muffler hanger I mean if the muffler falls off guys I'm gonna to be totally honest with you guys it's pretty much gonna be the end of it oops I put myself yeah. into some traffic That was not the smartest decision to go by here. 
That's weird though that there's traffic. There has to be an accident. Usually there's no traffic on this road. Some sweet little wind noise for you guys. We'll hopefully be able to get off here. Oh wow, a Volvo? Ain't no way, boy! Ain't no way that's- oh shit! Yo, somebody fell off the highway, bro! Oh my god, yo, look at the rear end of that Volvo, guys! Yo, somebody fell off the highway, guys! Holy shit! Yo, I don't usually swear on the channel, boys, but that's messed up! That is messed up, holy. Bro. I don't know if you guys saw that. I gotta close the windows here because my headliner's falling off. Yo, somebody fell off the highway, dude. Bro. That Volvo got absolutely destroyed. That rear end of that Volvo was just in existence. I'm not going back from the highway. I can guarantee that to you guys. I'm gonna take the long route through the city. Dude. I saw, I don't know if you guys could see on, on, on the freaking Insta360, but bro, that, that, like the fence was broken. So the hundred percent, and there was no car there. There was only the Volvo, which was on the tow truck with the rear end. Like from what the rear end looked like on that Volvo, that was a, like a really bad accident. You guys know how I love my Volvos and how safe these things are. But for it to crumble like that, that was a big accident. Well, I guess I'll uh, end the uh, POV for you guys and we'll see each other on to the camera. Alrighty guys, so hopefully you all enjoyed today's video. <laughs> I just hope the muffler doesn't fall off like it happened the other day because this time it will be very painful. Um, <laughs> we'll rock it like that, I guess, for now. I'll go to my friend's house and I'll try to have him re-thread the bolts and uh, we'll see how everything goes, I guess. The E36 might go to the scrapyard before the end of the winter. <laughs> Who knows? Guys, this is just going to be a fun car to drive this winter. If I got problems with it, it's fine. I'll probably take the SADV out of storage and drive it in the winter. I have that option, so I'm not too stressed about it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any uploads from Take Garage. See you, boys.